का I come to a very interesting last one, which is that the Deputy President has breached Article 151B and Section 34 of the Leadership and Integrity Act. Mr. Speaker, in my bundle of evidence, I have the affidavit of Dr. Andrew Mula, which I would want displayed. Dr. Andrew Mula, Mr. Speaker, was the acting CEO of the Kenya Medical Supplies Agency. Kenya Medical Supplies Agency, through funding of the Global Fund, did advertise for a tender for purchase of mosquito nests to benefit Kenyans. The tender was worth about 3.7 billion. In this affidavit, Mr. Speaker, Dr. Andrew Mulwa avers that uh, when he came to Kemsa, and Mr. Speaker, the witness is before the House, but because this is not the trial chamber, we will not lead him in evidence, with, nor, nor will he be cross-examined, but he's ready to be cross-examined when we go to Senate. He avers that when he was appointed as an acting CEO of Kemsa, and he came to office, he found the tender ongoing, and one day, the deputy president called him, threatened him, so that he could release a bid board. In his testimony, he says that the com a company that was being fronted by the deputy president, if you allow me just to get where, to where the, because this is important, at page 70 to 76, at page 70 to 76, of my band of documents, Dr. Andrew Mulwa avers that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa called me from his mobile phone. The number is provided. On my mobile phone number, the number is provided and pressured me to surrender to his proxy, the original bid bond submitted by Sobika Impex for the above tender. He told me that he would send a proxy to collect the original bid bond. He goes further to state that Dr. Ikuno Rigadi, who is the son to Rigadi Gashagwa, the deputy president, called me and sent me a WhatsApp message from his mobile phone number, which is provided claiming to be acting for and on the instructions of His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa. He asked for Sobika Impact's Private Limited's original bid bond for the above tender, which he said His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa was trying to collect from Kemsa. Our next year to unmarked AM1 are the screenshots, and I would like them, they are already displayed on the screen of those messages. Doctor, he goes further to avow that Dr. Rigadi, Dr. Ikino Rigadi, his Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa's son, sent a one Ogora Wilson Okulo of national identity number that to collect the original bid bond submitted by Sobika Impex Limited. He concludes by saying that given the status, power, threats, influence of the people in involved in the interference with the investigations and the cover-up of the irregularities surrounding the procurement of treated mosquito nets. I was constrained to surrender the original bid bond to Ogora Wilson Okulo. In short, members, in short, members, please listen to this. In short, I was caught in a tricky situation as there was nothing much I could do as a junior government officer against a sitting deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, this allegation is confirmed was admitted by none other than the Deputy President yesterday live on his interview or live on television. He did confirm that, yes, he called Dr. Mulo. He also confirmed that he called him in relation to a bid bond. And he did confirm that the company called Sobika, the local representative of Sobika, is a company called Cristo. And the company called Cristo is owned by none other and Rigadi Gashagwa and his children. And therefore, there was a di direct conflict of interest that the deputy president, that the representative, the, representat the local representative of Sobika, which is an international company registered in India, is a company owned by the deputy president. 
And the deputy president is making a call regarding a tender to a junior government officer. I wonder how many other calls he has made. But I do not need to belabor this point because none other than the deputy president himself did admit on live television yesterday that he did make the call. It was in relation to the bid bond. And therefore, I urge members to adopt the evidence of Dr. Andrew Mulwa as the truthful and factual evidence exhibiting that His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa did interfere with the tendering process and also did interfere with the investigation into the same. His Excellency the Deputy President did inform the country falsely that uh, no money was lost. Mr. Speaker, you would know that this tender was funded under the Global Fund. And the Global Fund, through letters that we have exhibited, did cancel this funding. And therefore, the Kenyan people lost up to 5 billion Kenyan shillings and as well a relationship.